I've certainly gone for lamography in a big way. I've embraced it fully, I would think. I um, got this plastic camera that you've seen me use before, the Constructor. It's a nice little camera kit. Make it yourself, put it together. Uh, one Christmas day it was, and uh, I've used it once. It wasn't very successful, so I thought I'd use it again. But not just using the plastic camera. I used this film that I've been given by a friend, 35mm, 24 exposure colour film, uh, which is made by Tesco's, but it's more than 15 years out of date. So there's obviously going to be some problems there. And then to add to the equation, I developed the film myself in the tank here in this kitchen using the stand method, which means that you can use temperatures way below what you normally need, temperatures around 32, 38 degrees centigrade, and I managed to do it at room temperature. The effects are quite interesting, the pictures are quite interesting, so I hope that you're going to enjoy what's the rest of the video as I put the whole thing together. I've arrived at the destination, so now for the experiment. With the uh, little uh, plastic camera, I plan to take lots of pictures of one thing um, from one location. And then when I have all the pictures printed, I'll be able to put them all together to create the one item, but with lots of pictures that you'll see when I've completed it, what I'm talking about. So I'm going to now go and find something worth photographing. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the little plastic kit camera out again. So I'm going to load it up with some old Tesco film. It's uh, very old. And then we're going to go and take some pictures with it. So, join me later and we'll see the pictures. Okay, as you can see, the film tank is ready with the film inside. I do that with a dark bag, so that obviously the film can't have any light get into it. So that's all prepared. I get all my bottles ready in the morning of the day I'm going to do the developing, so that they get a chance to stand in the kitchen and all come up so there's room temperature. And I put my water also in bottles, so that they're all everything's at the same temperature. So I begin by adding water to the film tank to give it a pre-soak at room temperature in plain water for three minutes. I'm using the four chemical method which is developer, bleach, followed by fixer and then followed finally by stabiliser. So after three minutes the water should have brought the film to the right temperature and the emulsions will be softer now so the chemicals will work. So you pour in the developer, agitate for one minute and then you can just leave it to stand for 45 minutes. At the end of the 45 minutes, you can pour the uh, developer that's now been used into the jug that you keep for the developer and fill the tank up with water at room temperature, which you've kept in a bottle, and then that should be washed and stand for three minutes.
while you're waiting for that to wash in the three minutes, you can empty the jug of developer back into the developer bottle because you can use the chemicals several times. And what I usually do is when I've used it, the developer or any of the chemicals, I mark the label to say that it's been used because I find that five or six uses is probably the maximum you can have. So it's a good idea to keep account of how often you've used them. Pour the water out of the tank and uh, now it's time for the bleach. Bleach is horrible smelly stuff and uh, try not to get it on your hands. Uh, not that it burns or anything but it just doesn't smell very nice. It's not a very nice chemical at all so that's a huge advantage being able to put it into the tank, only have to agitate for one minute and then leave it just like the developer to stand for 45 minutes at room temperature. Now exactly as you did with the uh, developer, pour the bleach into a jug that you keep especially for photographic bleach and then fill the uh, tank with water at room temperature. Again I'm using wine bottles as you can see but they are with water in not wine. And uh, then while you're waiting for the tank to wash the film, you can pour the bleach back into the bottle and again mark it so that you know how many times you've used it. Empty the water out and uh, now it's time for the fixer. Sadly there's no shortcut with fixer, the fixer's pretty smelly as well. But unfortunately you fill the tank with the fixer, you agitate it for the first 30 seconds and then you agitate it for 10 seconds every minute for 7 minutes. You know, the fixer can be just like the other chemical, uh, the dev and the bleach, you can reuse it, so put it back into the bottle and mark the bottle that you've used it. And wash your tank again and finally the will be stabiliser.
stabilizer is very easy, pour it into the tank, no agitation, and just leave it in the tank for two minutes. a jug and put it back into the bottle. And again mark so that you know how many times you've used it. Now you're cleaning your film or washing your film in the tank with the lid off. Um, one of the problems you're going to have is that most house water is quite chalky so or hard, so you'll find that you'll get terrible spots on the film as it dries and it's very difficult to get rid of. So it's, if washing the film again doesn't seem to solve the problem. So the best thing is to keep your film clean now. So I use a wetting agent, but I find that wetting agents you buy in uh, chemistry shops, developing type shops. It's very expensive, I find a very good wetting agent is washing up liquid. A couple of spots, bounce the reel up and down, get the bubbles going, and then if you use a sponge or uh, spongy fingers to wipe the film clean, then the, uh, it doesn't dry the spots. And also don't forget to keep the film somewhere very dust free. Otherwise, uh, you will have dust on your film, which is even worse as it dries. As you can see, the film has come out very dark. I hope yours is going to be lighter than that. But then remember that we're using 30-year-old film uh, with a stand method. So it's unlikely it was going to be hugely great results, especially with the plastic camera. But I think you'll like what you see. Truly really embracing mammography. So what you're seeing here is the pictures I spoke about at the beginning of the video. One subject taken from one spot, but taking parts of the building. As you can see, when you're standing in one place and you're taking pictures, the angles will be different, of course, because you're in the one spot. And then the fun part, putting them all together to create the one picture. Which I'm rather pleased with. Yes, I hope you like it too. Anyway, comments below. I'd like to hear what you've got to say and what you think about it. And uh, let me know if you're doing, having a go yourself. Thank you for watching.